balloons and all that. It wasn't very pretty. But he did it. He did his best. And he decorated that day. And that's what made my birthday in 19, no, 2000, 2000. I turned 20 in 2000. That's what made my birthday extremely glorious. Because my dad gave me worth. It wasn't how many people showed up. It wasn't how many gifts I got. It's because my dad, my dad prepared that day for me. And I want to ask you right now, are you going to spend the rest of your life living off of that moment in the Garden of Eden, trying to prove yourself? Or are you going to say, Dad, who am I? And you listen and believe. And you look at the cross, and you never doubt your worth. You never doubt your dignity. And you never doubt how forgiven you are in spite of what you've done. But I understand that many of you guys are satisfied by being cool, by being fashionable. But there will be a day when those things are no more and you will have no glory. And then you will hear God speak. He has always loved you. And he has always called you to something more. Adam and Eve felt no nakedness in the Garden of Eden. When you know who you are before God, you will feel no nakedness in front of people. Let's pray. I just want you guys to know that God has spoken that we are spoken for upon the cross. God defines you. And from this point on, you don't have to prove anything to anybody because we know whose we are. God is always more interested in winning all of you than in in you winning the world for him. My heart for you is to live a brilliant life, a life with no shame, no guilt, no contest, no competition. You will not find your glory in your football team. You will not find your glory in who you date or how nice your car is or how good you look in a bikini or with no shirt on. My prayer for you and my prayer will always be for you, Bethany, that your glory would shine and reside in Jesus Christ and the work he has done on the cross. And if you find your glory in anything outside of that, you are lost. As your friend, I tell you today, you are lost. And I hate to tell some of the people in this church right now, but you are lost. That's why you're unhappy. You're trying to prove something to your family, to yourself. When you have been spoken for, trust the cross and never feel naked again. Thank you for your time.